You're going to have a quick view on the Auto Digitize tool, which is included in Embroidery I Square, a plugin for Adobe Illustrator. We're going to make it based on an example. This is a typical left chest logo. It has some text, the logo itself, and as you can see here in the layers view, consists of different uh, parts, compound parts. There is also a, uh, a text segment there. All right, the way how to work with Auto Digitizer is you first select all of the segments or objects you want to convert, and then you go into the object menu. And here we find the Embroidery I Square Auto Digitize tool. Clicking on it, it will convert the uh, objects into stitches. This is a great way how to find out the stitch count and let your customer know, for example, the pricing perspective of your, of your digitizing. It is also a very nice way how to have or create a quick preview how the logo or the design will look embroidered. If you go here to the Embroidery I Square view settings in the 3D view, you can see here we have the 3D, 3D view of my logo. Of course, once the auto digitizing is done, there is always a uh, time to if you really need it you can edit parts of your design let's make a, a little example here on the letter H we select the H and uh, well actually let's select it from from here from these grouped uh, objects and we have here the H then we go to the angle lines tool and now we can move the angle lines to the positions we really want them to be. This one going down to the left and this to the right uh, corner area. This one up here and up here as well as this one going down. And maybe here this one a little bit more angled like that. Okay. Then uh, let's make another example on the, uh, the complex fill area, let's say the dark green complex fill area here, which should be uh, one of this here. Let's choose this one. And again here with the angle line tool, you can change the angle. Let's make it in an opposing stitch direction so that it, uh, it is in contrast to the other objects that are on top of it. And here also we will make an example on how we can add uh, underlays. So I select the object, go to the Embroidery I Square Path Properties and click here on the uh, little bars. And here we have the underlay settings. Let's make an example here with uh, a lattice. I apply a lattice to it and you can see here we have the lattice underlays applied to it. You can change all of the settings as we have already shown in one of our videos. All right, so let's have a look now at the uh, at the uh, stitch count. This is the embroidery embroidery I square print design info. You will see a preview of the the stitch counts as you can see here but not only that we I can also see the width and the height in millimeters and I can see the stitch count showing up here 